And so a very quick one, I am still George Onyebe, and uh, this evening I want us to look at a message I simply titled, The Igbo Biafra Biafra People Are Simply Marketing a Legalized Poison to the People of Anyoma, to the People of Ikwiri, to the entire people of the South South, and supposed Igbo people outside the Southeast. And of course, by extension to Wawawa people, to Osu Igbo, they are simply marketing a legalized poison to all of us. And now let me explain in details. When we say a product is a legalized poison, by implication, the product may be marketable legally in a particular society, but the government thereafter will warn the people. And so if you're buying this very product, you should know that you are not safe. The choice is yours. For instance, if you look at alcohol, they will warn you, don't drink and drive. And that is because they know the danger of drinking and driving. But a very clearer picture of a legalized poison is cigarette smoking. On every packet of cigarettes I have come across in my life, each of them you will discover the inscription on it by the Federal Ministry of Health, warning you that tobacco smokers are liable to die young. But the question should be, if the Federal Ministry of Health understand the health hazard of cigarette smoking and yet they go ahead and allow it to be sold in the market, it automatically means that whatever happens in the end, based on your patronage, is entirely your fault. And that is exactly the same thing I want you to know. If you are a query man, if you are a normal man, if you are from the south-south, and if you are supposed Igbo, outside the southeast you know they are expanding everybody must be Igbo, and so once you disagree with them you are a saboteur you are a criminal you are but let's not go there yet let's look at how they are selling legalized poison to us number one let's look at anyoma anyoma as a people they have worked very hard to break our bond but they cannot break the bond of anyoma people because they don't even know what unites us in the first place and so how could you break a relationship that is built on mutual understanding, respect for one another? How can you break it when we still respect each other? No Anyoma tribe has come forward and said we are superior. The Ka people have not said so. Ushimili have not said so. Ndokwa have not said so. Neither has Anyocha Nondi Inuane. Anybody come out at any time and say, in this Anyoma, we are the Ishiuchi. It does not exist. Because we understand that it is cooperation that lead to civilization, that lead to genuine development. And so since we are not dragging who is the head here, they cannot break our bond. And so Anyoma people, how are they selling the poison to you? A lot of Igbo people born in our land. It's not their fault that they are born in our land. In fact, I was discussing with one of my brother and he showed me somebody in his community and said, look at this guy. His parents are Igbo people. They settled in our community for a very long time. But the mother and the father died, and they couldn't go back to the village. The boy is not even sure. They are not even sure the boy knew where he comes from. But the truth is, if the boy knew where he comes from, the southeast, maybe his cousins and uncles would have taken over his father's property. And so that boy is not going anywhere. He's going to become an indigenous of that Eka community. But then the danger boils down when a friend is not actually a friend. When he betray my people, he has nothing to gain, he has nothing to, he has a lot to gain, he has nothing to lose. And so we have a lot of people like that in our community. Because we do not segregate, they are using them to sell this poison to you. I, I posted a video online here. One Igbo Biafra man was telling them that he want to see the picture of one Igbo boy posing to be Okwane. You know, the major attack now is Okwane and Benin. Benin because Benin will disorient them. Okwane, because Okwane are hospitable people, very hospitable people. When they come to a car, you will see the, this music will change. But let's not go there. They will bring out themselves. So they brought one Okwane person who is 13 years old, giving history of his father and, uh, and trying to, you know, he, go and watch Igbo Biafra people. 12 years, 5 years, they are the one giving us Igbo history. Igbo metamorphology. How do they call it? Igbo costumatology. Ngyushi. They're selling poison to you. They tell you we are Igbo, we are Igbo, we are Igbo. But what brought about this unity that they are trying to reunite us, they don't want to talk. That is poison they are selling for you. 
They are trying to force us into their group. But we have been there. They never have our interests at heart. So if you are from Anyoma, they are there telling you, oh, Anyoma is Ibu, let's unite. Nigeria is afraid. You cannot forget in a hurry that every Anyoma person that has come forth to stand with this Ibu Biafra, for as far as the history of Nigeria can be dated back, all of them but none will betrayed. I am the last example. And only anybody from Anyoma who allow his safe to be betrayed will fall for that. Not anymore. It's a promise we made them. I work with them. The selling poison in different guys. We move to Ikwiri. All the time, Ikwiri is Igbo, Ikwiri is Igbo, Ishebo is Igbo. And Igbo children from Israel. Igbo Biafra children from Israel. Those ones that are born in Ikwiri land. They are now on social media. I'm on Ishebo. I'm on Yomagwa. I'm on Yabu Adu. I'm on Yabu Igbo. They are selling poison to you, Ikwiri people. Watch those people very well. They are not on Wadiane, neither are they issue be. If you let them to get access to you, is this a uh, Bukubi? Let me see. Sorry, I have to cut it up. You can never be relevant again, even in your next life. Let's hope it's a Bukubi, but I will come back to you. Animal useless criminal pastor. Hmm? You, are, you are putting costs on your father. Let's hope it's a Bukubi, because I know I may have three followers three view at every of my broadcast but i also know that because of the position we are millions of people share my broadcast and everybody is sharing it all of you you see the one they call is our war with chain he was here it's not fighting for a daily release it's not talking to ibu biafra from israel somebody animal like ibu kubi who has left the preaching of jesus christ he left the preaching of jesus christ he's attacking in the Okwane because you know Okwane people are not violent people if you are the true ibu kubi you will be disgracing your altar. You will not be the first. You will be unstable like water. If you are the original Ibukubi, I will come for you. If you are the original Ibukubi, I will find out, or maybe it's in Nandekano impersonating Ibukubi. But Ibukubi, for calling us out and calling us brainless people as a man of God, your ministry will be unstable as water. You have sown to the wide wind and you shall reap the corruption. Except that is what Jesus sent you. And now let's come back to Ikure people. They are shouting everywhere. Ikure is Igbo. Ikure is Igbo. Ikure say they are not Igbo. But Ikure is Igbo. Ikure is not Igbo. Why all the campaign? Ikure people, they are selling legalized poison to you. Nobody is stopping them. And then they're moving on. Oh, everybody that speak Bia, oh, one child bundi Igbo. But even when they say they are from Benin, you attack them. It's a legalized poison they are selling to you. And as I'm talking to you, they, I think they are dropping down the attack on Benin people because it's not it's not selling. Every small thing, we claim Benin, we claim Benin. They say actions speak louder than words. That which connects us with the Benin people does not speak. It commands. Our relationship with Benin people is not vocal. It is authoritative. Do you understand? Benin can't sell poison to me. Benin cannot tell me, say, uh, yes, you migrated from... They don't need to say that. Because when I get to the palace of my king, I see evidence abound. And when I ask my ancestors two, three questions, I see evidence abound. And so the connection between we and the Benin, Ikwiri and the Benin, Ekas and the Benin, and Yochas and the Benin, Usimini Dokwa, and all of us are the Benin, it is authoritative influence everywhere it is not vocal it's not vocal and so they can't sell the poison further and the need people know what is obtainable and they are playing by the rule now under means through which they are selling this poison i want you to look at them on my platform every day they are raising fund Nande Kano and the sister were raising funds. Nene Nayanya, Ego Idozi Obudowan, Ego Ibanko, Ego Ilomunwanye, Ego Ramundengwe here. They were raising all manner of money. No Igbo man condemn it. They say they want to use it to do Biafra matter. Of course, it is capital intensive and it is understandable. They are not beggar. They are not criminal. If you go to church, we talk about tithe and offering. You can see the saga. It's everywhere. And then, if you look at Igbo Unity beggars, when they finish selling poison, they will say, Igbo, this project is too hard. All of us has to put hand together. It's money they are asking for. They are solicitating for fun. They don't condemn it. But you see the way they are selling poison to you. If I come out, I tell you I need to upgrade my facility. They will say, see, I'm thief. He's begging money. He's a criminal. These are the ways they sell poison. And most of you will believe them. 
if you see the moment I come online, they will tell their hackers to descend on me. Many of you are discouraged by their comment, but it really doesn't matter because this is where we hold them. You will ask yourself, are Igbo people the only people in Nigeria? Go to Biafra platform. You won't see Yoruba person commenting there. But the moment you come out and say anything good about Nigeria or anything good about your people, you don't make Igbo people to be the head. You become enemy. They flood you. They attack you. They insult you. It is poison they are selling to our people. So if you see this Igbo unification group, they were the Biafra agitators. I was there. They met our first obedient movement. I was there. Do you know how many millions of dollars was raised in America for P2B under the pretense of uh, looking for leader? P2B should tell us what he and Atiku sealed, delivered, and document with Nandekana. P2B thought Atiku had sold his personality. So P2B betrayed Atiku, betrayed PDP, and he thought obedient will fly. Those people you fool with obedient know the truth already. Now, obedient is not going anywhere. We better return to Abuga so we know who we are dealing with. And this having been said, they now metamorphose and then they move into what is known as a, a Igbo unification project. My brother, they are selling cigarettes for you. They have told you that you are liable to die young. It's your choice. How are they telling you that you are liable to die young? They are telling you that uh, if you speak Bia, it's Igbo language, and your land belongs to them. So if you agree you are Igbo land, you are their property. If you agree you are Igbo land, you, their land belongs to them. They have told you their father did not keep map for them, despite the fact that they are drawing map. But that their father told them that from the south east to the Atlantic Ocean belong to them. So all of you from south south, get ready. If you buy the poison, it will destroy your lungs. It will destroy everything about you like the secret. If you agree with them, everything they are saying, you are gone. It's just that it will affect you and your people because we will certainly separate the wheat from the chaff from among us. You know, the Bible actually said in Ephesians, it is not your duty to judge anybody, but it is certainly your duty to judge those who say they are Christian because this is the only way you can remove the evil one from among you. All of you who are buying the poison, they are deceiving you. Igbo people, they say they are from Israel. They have claimed our culture and tradition. 90% of what they project outside El Kuchi, you know El Kuchi in the 80s, if you wear it, they will be mocking you in my place. Now they have stolen Aquacha, they have stolen Aquiti, they have stolen the Rand Cap, they now abandoning their winter cap. And you are buying these lies, you don't know you are buying legalized poison, my brother, you are liable to die young if you fall for them. We need to be patient and observe them at the end of the day, they will carry their goods back to where they are coming from. This is where I will bring this very broadcast to an end. I'm going to cut it off and start all over again, but a new broadcast. So beware that Igbo Biafra Biafra people who say they come from Israel are marketing legalized poison to the people I have mentioned. And Yoma people, Kwe people, Bini people, the entire people of South South, beware what they are selling for you. It's a legalized poison. Remember, they will always tell you in a packet of cigarettes that the Federal Ministry of Health has warned that tobacco smokers are liable to die young. They warned people of South South. They warned Ibukwiri and Anyoma people and those supposed deadly Igbos that anybody who agree to them, you are liable to lose your heritage, you are liable to lose your land, you are liable to lose your personality, you are liable to lose everything that you are in the hand of these Igbo Biafra people. Watch the problem of Nigeria, they are responsible for all of them, but they never agree for once. If you let them use you against your father, against your king, as they are planning, they want to come through the back door, may the Lord be with you. But for us, I'm not in diaspora, we are here on ground. We are observing them. And so let's go and look at some of the people who are there before we go to the next uh, broadcast. Uh, who do I see here? Uh, let's see, I see my brother Henry Chimes here. Of course, that is a progressive-minded Igbo person. I always point it out, we have different kind of Igbo. He's the one that migrate from Israel that are my concern. Ebukubi, pastor or prophet. Ebukubi, Unyuali is from Israel. 
He is one of the descendants of Abraham, third son of Abraham, God. And then the canon is from Israel. You can see he's Arabatelia. I think Obidio Bienuna is from Israel because he's promoting Igbo people from Israel. And then Dr. Uchingo Kenko is from Israel. You can see all of them in my comment section. Then Ezra Ward, the one they took to Europe on chain as a madman, is from Israel. You can see all of them. And then if you watch my platform, you see an Igbo person insulting, defending Igbo, selling legalized poison, they are from Israel. That is the problem. I need you as a Nigerian to begin to study Igbo people. You will discover that the Igbos that are not born in the Southeast, they are different from the Igbos that are born in the Southeast. The Igbos that are born in the Southeast, majority of them are toxic people. There are some of them I don't want to mention their name. There was one of them very close to me. I bring her, her, she's he. I bring her closer to me. And everywhere she's around me, she'll be snapping me and be sending to his people but he still come on my platform and be insulting his people and then one of them showed me my picture he said are you not this one i just want you to know that you are not safe and when i saw the picture i knew the person that was with me when i dressed that way because i have the power of mutation i make you see what you want to see and since then i kept the person quiet i didn't tell her to today hmm? it's like the evil person they gave God to put in my house then i know all of them i've not asked all of them the time will come. And so we have different kind of Igbo. The one we are addressing is the one shouting Biafra, 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 Biafra. They are all criminals. I don't know what they are doing in Nigeria. But we will review their issue. They are selling legalized poison. And then I see uh, uh, Becky Godwin. He said, good evening. I greet you, my brother. Beware of those people selling legalized poison. I see Kingsley, OBCK. He said, cry, carry on, sir. Obisike, I greet you. Uh, I see Vitor, Osai, they can never be trusted. Of course, uh, Vitor, that is the issue. These are the things I advise the Ibu Biafras to begin to work on. But they, would they learn? Would they ever learn? Every Nigerian is skeptical about the Ibu Biafra man. Once you have a dealing with them and they say you are Ibu, the next thing is this notion. Can they be trusted? Yes. Majority of them can be trusted. But at the same time, no. It's very difficult to see the trusted one. No. It's just very few of them. My brother Chim is here. Is here. I've worked with him to certain extents. And, 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 and I see something I could call integrity. If he does not agree with you, he moves on. And when he's fighting for what he's fighting for, he does not drag people into it. I've worked with Henry Chimezier in many platforms trying to defend Ndibu. And so far till this moment, I've not seen him waver from the truth. He's entitled to his opinion. But then he treats his opinion not disregarding other people's opinion. This is integrity, my brother. And then, of course, one of them you see Chuka from F4. I will call all of them out, but I'm still observing him. When he lowers his standard, we will come down to the mud and fight with all of them. This is a man who knows the consequence of standing by the truth. And against all odds, he fought all his brothers, supposedly. He fought on the Kanuchina Sanguru and other criminal Chike Duziem, Nayanya. He fought all of them. He stood alone. I felt his pain. I was with him throughout that period. But if they lower their standard, we all fight dirty. That is what I like to do. Selling poison. And then that person answering Ebukobi, I will look at it. You know, people tell me as you jail Ebukobi, uh, jail jail. You're going to do that. I'm not from the sad east. I am not from the sad east. I am from Niger Delta. I am from South South. I am a woman. I am a woman. Hmm? get it into your head and then able could be on my platform i will look at you later you're not seeing any relevant i've placed a curse on you because from your mouth you have declared the judgment of god upon yourself and then uh, who do i see here happy sunday sunny king page and then uh, udugu ata uh ajay udugu mbele ajay that is my brother there udugu this your name is like Igbo name oh. eh? you are going to send you to Igbo. they are selling poison to our children you answer any name, they say it's Igbo name. Who were they before the Biafran war? These Igbo people, who were they? What is their history? 
these Igbo people now claiming that we are answering their name, we are speaking their language, we are in their land. Before the Biafran war, who were they? When they came from Israel, were they speaking Igbo? Is Israel people speaking Igbo? These people no get sense, but this thing, this music they are playing, they will surely dance to it. This Kurukere drum they are playing, they will dance to it. They came here, conquered people, and then they they, they claiming it is their land, is their language. And we are older than them. We have institution that is recognized by every colonial imperialist empire around the world. The Omo ship is an example there. How could they be greater than us? How could they be here more than us? Because we are not selling our personality. But it's their time, let them continue. Let's see how many of our children they will be able to deceive. So they will understand the difference between we, indigenous and Yoma people, we, indigenous Ikuri people, we, indigenous Niger Delta, South South people, people who don't have sense. This is how they sell poison. Abacha called Dr. Alex Ikuime and said, let's return back to regional government. As it were before uh, Abu Yurunsi, Ibu Biafra man destroyed it. And then Moritola Mohammed tried to reason it that idea before he was assassinated. And then before Abacha died, he called Ibu man from Israel, Dr. Alex Ikwime, I'm sure he's from Israel, and said, We create regional. It was Ibu man that called us South South. Today, the same Igbo people are telling you that there is no place called geographical location that is South South. Nothing like South South in all the whole world. But so, why did Igbo man call us South South? Now they want us to reject it. Before they sold poison to Ikuri people, their name is never Ikuri. Listen to one of their broadcasts I shared before now. That Ikuri man speak intelligently. He said, We are Ikuri people politically, but traditionally, we are Heronha. We've come to accept that we are Ikuri people, but we are Heronha. By implication, nobody is Ikuri. It is Igbo people from Israel that we are mocking them. Because they are the interpreter between the Ikuri indigenous in Heronha, descendant of Apana. They were the interpreter between them and the white man. They had little choice. They do not have bargaining power. And so Igbo man will come and say, India Senawaga has we here 10,000. Ikuri. The Korean man cannot speak English. He does have, have strength to argue. He say Korean. And then when the Igbo Biafra people are having the Ohanese in the Igbo meeting, another criminal meeting, where they sell us. When they want to refer to Ikuri, we say, rap on the Ikuri, Ikuri. Leave all this Ikuri, Ikuri. The same way they are calling us Ndua Yiriri. Before you know now, Yoruba and Awosa will think we are Ndua Yiriri. They begin to call our normal people Ndua Yiriri. This is how they gave it to Ikuri. They try to change it that it means Ikuri. But it's too late because the people already know the truth. So most of you and your mother people don't know what we are fighting to stop. But we will overcome in the end. Of course, uh, no other person there. I see Guabuchi is a, own, a good man. Please forgive him. Understand. Uh, Guabuchi, understand. Uh, is a awo. Okay, uh, he's a good man. I, I, I don't know. I don't agree with his hour all the time. I'm not going to his page to insult him. While he came to call me name, he will, he will, he, 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 this market a price. He has to buy it. You are going to tell them to get off my page. They are not the one I'm talking to. They are even the reason why I'm popping low. I am praying for all of them. Uh, sorry, who is there? Somewhere. Somewhere. And so I'm praying for them to be able to do the right thing so we can salvage the hallucinated and mad ones. And then they want to show that they are madness, that they are mad as well. There is a difference between you are mad and you are crazy. They are not the same. And then uh, who do we have here? Is you who say so. What did he have to say? When we started fighting for humanity instead of a uh, uh, little... Uh, what team, tribes, or group, then we will never be peace at all. And then you tell that to your fellow Igbo Biafra, Izuku Siso. They are the one you need to tell that. Bob Mali philosophically said, not until the philosophy of one race being superior over another is permanently rejected, there will be war. What are Igbo Biafra people doing on the social media every day? They are the richest people, they are the most intelligent people, they are the best people, most handsome people, everything is there. And what do you expect? 
Now, we have accepted. We are the poorest people. We are lazy people. I think Ikori is lazy. I will leave it here. And then I'm coming back in a few minutes from now. And Yoma people, Ikori people, all of you, Igbo Biafra people are selling legalized poison to you. It is presented beautifully. It is presented wonderfully. But it will destroy your lungs like the cigarette. It will destroy. Yeah, it's your so. I'm happy you are telling that to all of us. It's understandable. I thought you were attacking me. You know, the normal way the Igbo Biafra people behave. And I love it. That is what charged my back. 